everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I'm going to show you how I create my generic Halloween makeup look. I'll show you how to do the hair and the makeup. This look can be used with multiple outfits, so it's a really great one for just interchanging your looks um, to suit whatever you're, you're going to dress up as this year. So yeah, I'm going to get straight on and show you guys how I got this look. So I'm going to be starting with hair today for my look because it gets nice and out of the way and then it's just easier to do my makeup. So as part of this video I am working with Tresemme, you guys know I've been working with this year. So I've just washed my hair with the Keratin Smooth shampoo and the conditioner and um, this just gives your hair so much shine, really locks in the moisture. And then obviously I dried my hair and I used the Keratin Smooth Heat Protect Spray. I'm also going to use this again just to do a little bit of straightening um, for my hair so I'm just going to pop a bit through my hair helps to protect up to 230 degrees so when you're doing loads of styling in a look it's so important to have heat protectant spray. So because of the hairstyle I'm only gonna straighten around the front of my head um, just where little flyaways like to come out and also this is the part I want to be really really smooth. Then to add even more shine into my hair, I'm going to use the Keratin Smooth Shine Oil. I'm just putting a tiny bit of this between my fingers, rubbing it together. And I'm going to put it in the lengths of my hair first. And then with the excess, I'm going to run it through the hair at the front of the head. So now my hair is super smooth. And also, I love that oil because it just, like, I don't feel like I need to wash my hands afterwards. You probably should. <laughs> Um, and I will, but it doesn't feel sticky, it's really nice and lightweight and it just sits really nicely in my hair. So moving on to the actual hairstyle, the first thing I'm going to do is get a really clean centre parting. So I'm just using this little um, teasing brush and I'm just getting a really nice straight line all the way down the back of my head. So I'm just going to tie this side off because we're not going to work on this section just yet. We're going to start with this side and we're going to go for a really high ponytail first. So I'm going to put a hairband on my wrist already. Um, and then I'm just going to bring all my hair up as high as it will go into a ponytail and I'm just going to brush it into place. My hair is now in the position and height I want it to be, so I'm going to use the Tresemme Freeze Hold Hairspray to spray down any flyaways. The Freeze Hold Hairspray just, it like really is freeze hold. <laughs> it really holds every flyaway down and you can layer it up or we'll not put much on, but I love to put loads on for this look and just really leak it down. So now that I have set that into place with the freeze hold hairspray, I'm just going to tease the ponytail a tiny bit and I'm going to use the freeze hold hairspray again and just add some nice texture into the hair. And then it's just a case of twisting it into a little space bun. Then using some pins, I'm just going to pin that down onto my head so that it doesn't stick up all weird. There we go, that is one half done. We have a really sleek, very much held down <laughs> little space bun going on there. So I'm just going to go and do exactly the same to the other side. I'm just going to bring it up into the ponytail again. Sometimes it helps if you put a little bit of the freeze hold hairspray in to start with just to get it going in the opposite direction because your hair doesn't really want to go this high up sometimes. And then you can brush it into place and by brushing it it also just brushes out the hairspray a little bit into your hair. Then 
Then again, just tackle all the flyaways. Freeze hold hairspray. Tease the ponytail a little bit. So there we go, that's the finished hairstyle. This could be used in like so many different outfits. Um, the other day I thought that you could have like little pumpkin faces on your buns or like little cat ears or it even looks like ears so like just draw your little cat face on. So yeah, it's a really fun little Halloween hairstyle. You really couldn't create this look without a really strong hairspray and this one just works so well. So Tresemme Freeze Hold Hairspray is the way to go. And you can also see how much the Keratin Smooth range is working in the buns. They look nice and shiny. So anyway, let's move on to makeup. So the first product I'm gonna use for makeup is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and I'm going to literally use this all over my face because this is in the shade Swan, which is very light. Um, so it's gonna create a nice pale base. I'm just gonna put it under the eyes first. Forehead, chin. In the nose. I mean, this is scary enough as it is. Then I'm going to buff that out with the It Cosmetics Complexion Perfection Brush. Even though that was concealer, I'm going to go in with the collection. Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade Fair because I feel like this is a tiny bit lighter than that um, and I still want to have really high coverage underneath the eyes. Okay, I'm going to set that all with the Rimmel Pressed Powder just all over my face. Then using the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in the shade Light, I'm going to create a really strong contour with this. So really putting quite a lot in the cheekbones, through my temples and down my nose and under my chin and everywhere you would contour basically. But because it's Halloween, I'm just exaggerating everything. I'm going to add a tiny bit of blush and I'm going to use one from the Too Faced Natural Face Palette and I'm going to use the shade Pink Sand down here. To highlight I'm going to use the trusty Mary Luminizer from The Balm. Now it's time to fill in the brows and I'm going for a really strong brow look. So I'm going to use the Benefit Browsings in the shade 3 and I'm just going to comb through my brows first and I'm basically just going to do my everyday brow routine but just make them a little bit thicker just to look a bit more dramatic and maybe a little bit darker. And then going to set them into place with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I love this stuff so much. It's definitely my favourite brow setter. So now none of the hairs on my head are going anywhere. <laughs> For eyeshadow I'm going to use the L'Oreal Very Much Love eyeshadow palette. There's so many gorgeous plum and berry shades <laughs> in here. So I'm going to start out with this matte brown here and I'm just going to put this across my whole eyelid. I'm also going to take that same shade underneath my eye. Then I'm going to take this really dark plum shade down here and I'm going to pop this on the outer corner of my eye. And 
and then I'm just going to blend that in. I'm going to take a little bit of this shimmery shade at the top, just on my finger, and I'm just going to pop this on the centre of my eyelid, just to add a little bit of sheen. Then taking the fluffy brush again, I'm taking that dark shade, and I'm going to take it just slightly through the crease. For eyeliner, I'm going to use this really cool looking eyeliner, which is from Christian Le Bouton. Not sure if that's how you pronounce their name, but this is the Lady Twist eyeliner in the shade 200. It's in a really nice sort of dark teal shade. So I'm just going to do quite an exaggerated cat eye. I'm also going to take the front slightly down. Mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Ultimate Mascara. This just gives really, really good intense lashes, which is what we're going for today. To make my eyes look even more intense, I'm going to use my Isla eyelashes, these are the Flutter lashes, so really nice and wispy and nice and long. So I'm going to put these on and then I'll come back once they're all on. So I have my Flutter lashes on now and I'm going to move on to lips. So I'm going to start off by lining them with the Maybelline Gigi Hadid lip liner. I don't know if it actually has a shade, um, I can't find one anywhere. <laughs> Then for lipstick, I'm going to try out the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. This one is in the shade 45. This is like the perfect Halloween shade. It also doesn't look like the shade it is on the bottle. It hasn't dried yet, so I'm guessing it's taking a while to dry, but oh my goodness, this is such a cool colour and also it's making my teeth look really white, which is very exciting. So then, the finishing touch to this makeup look is the face gems. I've used these like twice before, so I'm hoping they stick to my head. <laughs> so I'm just going to put them above my eyebrow and then the little bit that goes underneath. So there we have it, that is the finished generic Halloween makeup look. Obviously if you want to do a different look, don't have to wear the jewels, I just think they look super cool, super Halloween-y and that's not a word. <laughs> so yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video, thank you again to Tresemme for sponsoring it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!